Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, Sega's latest comments about the future of Sonic Frontiers are well, quite shocking. Now this info comes from Morio Kishimoto, who's one of the lead game designers and directors at Sega and he didn't share this info in a brand new interview, no, he shared this info on Twitter. And this was first discovered by VideoGamesChronicle.com, so let's go with their translation. As you can see here, I'm relieved that the release date has arrived and that the game seems to have reached everyone safely. We are checking out the opinions of the critics and players. As you have pointed out, there are still areas where we are not quite there yet, and we will take this seriously like a global playtest. Now, those are some interesting choice of words, and of course, some of this has been lost in translation, but I've checked many different websites and they all say the same thing, that Mr. Kishimoto states that we are checking out the opinions of the critics and players. As you have pointed out, there are still areas that we are not quite there yet, and we will take this seriously like a global playtest. Now, this could mean one of two things, or both. One. This could mean that Sega plans to add some new patches for upgrades and enhancements to add to Sonic Frontiers based on all of the feedback that they're currently receiving. Two, this could also mean that this signifies the future of the Sonic franchise with Sonic Frontiers which we've heard them say before and that they're taking this game Sonic Frontiers as a global playtest to see how they can refine these open zone areas in a new way for Sonic Frontiers games in the future. Or this could mean both. This could mean that yes, we're going to get some type of improvements and enhancements by the way of patches for Sonic Frontiers and that Sega is taking this very seriously and that this concept of Sonic Frontiers with these open zone areas will not go away anytime soon and this will be the future of 3D Sonic games. Now, when you first see these articles, it kind of seems like Morio Kishimoto is stating that they just use Sonic Frontiers as some type of tech demo and we as the fans and consumers are guinea pigs and they're just using all of the reviews as feedback. Yes, it may seem like that, but I don't think that's what he's stating here at all. I really do believe that they're just taking in all the feedback from this game so that they can further refine this game as well as future games for the Sonic franchise. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. And what are your thoughts on everything discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And please, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, remember to keep it locked here around the clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.